Hey guys, Mr. H here. I want to go a little farther in depth with all of you on how to look up service information. I know it was a little confusing when we tried to use the Chilton Care on Cengage, but since we're on the whole entire concepts and ideas of having a repair order and then looking up parts, labor, um, special tools, things of that nature, why don't we dive into a little bit of what we have here in the shop, which we do have all data back up and running. Um, I think I might have told you guys our subscription did run out over the summer, but we weren't allowed to be here because of COVID. So now it is back up and running. So when you guys are back in the shop, you should be able to use all data. And for me personally, I, I kind of learned with all data and I feel like it's a little easier to work with. So let's just play out a scenario. Let's pretend that I just punched in today. I'm a technician in the shop and I need something to do. Oh, oh, thank you, Mr. Mr. Service Writer. Thank you for giving me this, this wonderful RO I have before me. So here's what I got. Service Writer, Service Manager, whoever's above me who's making sure all the technicians have something to do and jobs for the day, he's gonna give me an RO. It might not be on a clipboard, but most of the ones you're gonna do in class, you're gonna have clipboards for, for the majority of the work that goes on around the shop. I use clipboards where I work, just so, you know, not everywhere can have a nice tablet where you can write stuff on. So clipboards, what we use. So here's what I got, all right? And by the way, you guys have these sheets on Cengage. I'll probably be having you guys do maybe one or two of these just as practice for next year. But it gets you accustomed to the layout. So here's what we got as a repair order. Okay, so I'm looking at this. I'm gonna try to hold it as closely up to here as I can, but I have the VIN right off the back. I have the customer, so his name is Gary Ringwood. He has a 2008 Toyota Camry. I got the license plate number. I have the mileage, it's 91,376 miles. It's gray in color, and the repair order number is 672. So if I'm ever trying to pull up this RO once it goes into the system, it has a separate number for this whole repair order. So it's number 672. So if they're ever looking in the service records for what was done to the car, they can pull up this repair order and check and see what was done. So here's what I've got. I've got his phone number, um, call when ready. He has check mark yes. He's gonna use his credit card. I have his personal phone number and his business phone number. Um, he wants an estimate once we figure out what's going on with the car. Okay, here's the big three. Now they won't be written out like this on a lot of repair orders, but you'll see something to this extent. So here we've got concern, cause correction so the first thing we go with is concern and by the way when someone gives you the concern for their vehicle first thing you should do before you do anything is confirm so if the customer has a complaint you must confirm that complaint how can you diagnose something if it, you haven't tried to make it do it you can't just throw parts at it it's not the way we work so concern this is what we got from the uh the customer so probably my service writer or service manager probably had a phone call and the customer gave him this information. Um, he did a nice job. He gave us um, more specifics than we would usually get. So we got vehicle runs rough, possible misfire, CEL flashing. So that means check engine light is flashing. So if I have a misfire, which means a cylinder is not working properly, the combustion process is off, I am having combustion, at the wrong time or a lack of combustion in a cylinder if it is bad enough to where the check engine light actually flashes it's telling you as the driver hey you should not be driving this car you're going to damage the catalytic converter because the number one cause of a catalytic converter um you know dying is usually uh, a bad air fuel mixture going through the combustion process. So if it's too much raw fuel going down into the cat, that'll melt it down, that'll destroy it. If it's too much, too much oxygen, you're running too lean, that can destroy it as well. So that's why the check engine light flashes when you have a major misfire in a vehicle. It's telling you, hey, you, um, could you turn the car off because you're damaging the emission system? We're trying to save that. We're trying to make the car not hurt itself more than it already is. So that's what we got. So. Here's our repair order. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna log on to all data. And here we go. Boom, I'm there. What I'll do is I will actually bring the laptop down 
so I can focus in on certain parts. But we said it was a 2008 Toyota Camry. So what I'm gonna do is, gives me a search menu. So I'm gonna scroll to 2008. Toyota and Camry. Now, this is where it gets a little more specific. So I'm gonna bring the laptop over for just a second to let you guys see what options I have here. So, right now, I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you guys can, but I have a couple of engine options that this Toyota Camry could have. I could have a 2.4, another 2.4 that's a hybrid, and then a 3.5 in this car. So that's something that might be a little extra that needs to be added on to the RO for me to figure that out. We're gonna say it's the 2.4 2AZ FE, just a regular 2.4, no hybrid technology, nothing special, it's not a powerhouse, so we're gonna click on that one. Now, before I go any farther, here's what I'm gonna do. Now I have to confirm the customer's complaint. Let's say, pretend that's the car right there in the bay, right? Behind me, that way. Let's pretend that's the Toyota. First thing I gotta do is I gotta take this thing um, either run it or take it out for a test drive it can confirm what that customer is saying is a problem or a complaint. So here I'm going to go. I'm going to take my repair order. I'm going to take my driver's license, all my certifications with me. Now I'm going to be taking that out for a drive and we're going to see if it has indeed a misfire. Maybe I'll take the scanner around um, just to see if I can narrow down what cylinder it is. So here we go. I'm going to take it for a test drive. Yeah, it's got a misfire. Short test drive. So right off the bat, the car is running rough. You could feel it in the steering wheel. You can feel that the engine is not happy. It's got a misfire. With the scanner, I was able to pull the code. It's a PO300 and a P0301. So you'll get accustomed to these codes. You'll recognize quite a few. You can't memorize them all, but so what I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put down here I've got a P0300, which is a random misfire. It's just saying the engine's misfiring. And a P0301. So think of it this way. An easy way to remember the misfire codes, if it's a P0300, that means something's misfiring. I don't know what, but something's not right. From then on, it's P031, 302, 303, 304. They correlate to the cylinder number. So if it's a P0301, that means it's misfire in cylinder one. Or if it's a P0305, it's a misfire in cylinder number five. So that's a good way just to remember the misfire code. So P0300, you're gonna see that one a lot and any of the P0300s with a number after them just correlates to what cylinder is misfiring. So I pulled out cylinder one that's misfiring. Okay. so. I've confirmed the customer complaint. I know where to kind of look now. Now I gotta find the cause. First thing I'm gonna do is maybe I'll go to uh, TSBs. See if there's anything on uh, So let me show you where TSBs here. We're gonna see if anyone else has had problems with this specific car. So right here I've got my mouse hovering over TSBs, that orange one. So I'm gonna click TSBs, and boy, I got quite a few. There probably will be a lot of TSBs, because remember, it covers the entire car, not just the engine. So let's gonna see any TSBs that relate to what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, vehicle pulls, vehicle oil leaks, mobilizer, tire repair. Okay, here, no. Engine oil consumption. Nope. Nothing on misfires. Had to check though, because maybe they had some good information for me. But nothing on misfires, so I'm gonna exit out of the TSBs. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do some testing. Um, this testing that I'm going to do is for 111, that you have, haven't gotten to yet. So I'm gonna spend some time, do some testing, and I'll come back later and tell you what I found. 